Hi, how you doing? It's Jeff Sinker from Skype Guitar Lessons Online.com. Welcome to this lesson, a mammoth session. We are going to be looking at Afraid to Shoot Strangers by Iron Maiden. Lots of different riffs in this song. It's just a great song to play. Love this when they do this live. We're going to be looking at the clean guitar, rhythm sections, the lead lines, the guitar solos, Yannick Gears and Dave Murray's. We're going to have to do another lesson, otherwise we will be here forever. Such a lot to cover. And on that note, I'm going to shut up. We're going to get in close and we're going to go through these riffs note by note. So you know the score. Don't go away. Preview. So let's have a look at the opening section. I'll play it through, then I'll break it down. Right, what we're doing, we're playing through a series of four chords. We're going to be playing an E5, going to a G, C sharp, and then to a B. Let's have a look at the picking pattern on this, and this picking pattern we're going to be using continually through this clean guitar section. So for the E chord, we're playing through an E5 and we're playing the E string open and the A2 and D2. And we are going to be playing E string, A string, D string, A string, D string, A string. And that is the same on the G chord. We're playing the free on the lower E, uh, A5 and D5, same thing. When we move to the C sharp, we're playing that pattern across the A and the D and the G string. So we're playing an A4, going to a D6 and a G6. When we move down to the B, which is A2 and D4 and G4, same pattern. Now you play that sequence through twice. The next section we are changing the chords up. We're going to be playing again with the same picket pattern. We're going to play for the E. Then we move to the C sharp. Move up one fret to the D. And then down for another bar to the B. Now we have got a change up. Instead of doing a 12 8 time, we are going to do a 9 8 time. And we're going to play this across a C. So we just do one of them picking patterns. Move up to the C sharp. Then down to B flat on the first fret on the A string. And then we go back for a 12 8 time back on the C. And we do that for two bars. Uh, sorry, we do that for one bar. And then we've got this 9 8 time bar again. And then we go back into a E section. Sorry, we go back for that free chord for one bar. Then we go and we repeat that E, C sharp, to the D, to the B, twice. Now we are going to go back to that pattern that we did, but this time it's going to be over a 12 8 time, which was that C to the C sharp to the B flat. But what we're doing, we're going to do two on the C or two counts. And we 
do that four times. So let's have a look what is happening with the other guitar while that introduction part is playing. So I'll play it through and then I will break it down bit by bit. So let me just play it through the first bar. So I'm starting off on the G string 9th fret. Then I go across to B string and I do a 7 9. Then I've got a hammer on a pull off on 7 9 back, so it's 7 9 7. To 9 on the G, to 8 on the G. And then I do a 6 pull off, sorry, a 6 hammer on to 8 and back to 6 on the G. Then I'm finishing on 9. So play that through. Next bar. So that one I'm playing a 12 on the high E, and then I do a 10 on the B, and then I've got this 8, 10, 7. So it's 12 on E, 10 on the B, and then 8, 10, 7 on the B to a 9 on the G, to a 7, to a 6 on the G, and then we cross over to the D and we do a D9, to a D7. So, so far we've got this. So the next bar we go at a 6G. And then we've got three sixes on to then the D9. To 6D and back to D9. So that bar would sound like this. So let me play the entire sequence through. And then you play the entire sequence all over again. Once you finish that part, then you go back and you just play the same line as the guitarist has played previously. So you just pick it up playing the same picking patterns through. So you just, there's no dual harmony in this, you're just playing the exact same notes. And like I say, you just play that through until we get to the main riff section. So let's go and have a look at that. So let me play the riff and then we'll break it down. So we start off on D11 to G11 to B9 to B10 back to B9 then we cross over to G11 to B10, back to G11, to G to B10, to B12, crossing over to E9, back to B12, to B10, finishing on B12. Let me play that through for you. Again. And a little slight change of position here. When I use a double stop on the next part, we are going to do G9 to B9 to B10 
to be 12. And then we go back to G9 to B9 to B10 to B12 back to the B9 B10 B9. Then we cross over to your G11 to G9 to G11 back to B9 and then on B G sorry G11. So that phrase will go. Again, a slower time. And then you would repeat that riff again. And then a little slight pause there. You've got a 16 pause as you move across. And let me play the two sections in a slow tempo together. Now you're going to keep repeating that, so you are, and you're going to be doing that uh, four times. Let me go into the next stage of the riff. So let me play the second part of that riff and then I'll break it down. So what we're doing there, we're starting off on B10, we play that three times. B12, to B10, B9, B10. Then we do a G11 and back to that B9. We got then four B9s. Then we do G9 to G11 three times. Then we've got this G9, G11, and then we got this pull off on the G11 where we're doing 13. Pull off to 11, to 9, and then back to 11 on the G. Play that in a nice slow tempo. So let's have a look at the next section, which is more of the kind of the rock section. Uh, which is used through part of one of the verses and also over the guitar solos. So I'm just going to play you through the first section of it and then I'll break it down. So what we're doing there, we're going to start off with a D5 sliding up to an E5. And then we play two E's. Then we've got this rhythm. You went da 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 da. So you get this. Then we repeat that. And then we're going to do a D5 to a C5. So you're doing D5 twice, C5 twice. And then we repeat that section again. Now the next section, we're going to start off on a C5. So what we're doing, we're kind of playing this D5, E5, we play it on a C5. I'm just going to play it, make more sense. Here we go. So what I'm doing now, I'm doing a C5 to a D5, playing the same pattern. And then I'm going to play an A5 twice. So B5 twice, and then we go back for one more kind of loop of that D5, E5. And then it repeats that whole section all around again through the first guitar solo, which if you watched I Made News recently, is the Yannick Gears guitar solo. But the rest of the guitars are playing that rhythm 
behind that. So let's have a look at the line coming out of the first solo. I'll play it through and then we'll break it down. <laughs> We play in there, we do a D9, cross to a G9, to a 11, G11, G12, G11, G9. Then we repeat that. Then we do a D12, to G12, down to G11, to G9, D12, to a G9, and then straight on to a B10 with a whole tone bend. Next section, again, because he just moves up. You play that twice, and then we move up to this bit. I'll play it through. So what we're doing there, we're starting it off on G11, crossing to B9 to B12, B13, back to B12, and to B10, and then of course we repeat that. Then we do a G12 to B13, to B12, to B10, crossing back to G12, to the B10, and then up to B15 with that whole tone bend. And then we go back to the original line. Now there is a dual harmony in that, because we're looking at this as just uh, an individual guitar. I do have the tablature for the second guitar, but it sounds a little bit strange unless you play it with the dual harmony. So I've just focused on the sound that you hear on the record, but there is a dual harmony on that. So if you do want to download the tabs, there is that link down there, so you'll be able to play that through. Let's just go through the chord sequence before we go into the section with Dave Murray's guitar solo. They're easy to play, play it through and I'll just break it down. So what I'm just playing there is a D5 to an E5. Repeat it. Then we play an A5, which is played here on the D string. So we're playing seven and nine across the G string, down to a G5. So we're just moving down a whole tone. And we repeat that. Then we go down to a C5, go into a D5, repeat it. Back up to the A5, G5. And then we go back and play another D5 to an E5. We play that through, and that gets played a series of four times. And then we hit Dave Murray's guitar solo, and we are using the same sequence we did previously for Yannick Gear's guitar solo. Let's have a look at the riff that's played directly after Dave Murray's guitar solo. I'll play it through, and then we'll break it down. So we're starting off on G9, and then we're crossing over to B9, to B10, to B12, crossing again to E9, to E10, back to E9, to B12, to B10, to B9, B10, and then 12, B10, B9, and then finishing up on the G9. So, so far we've got this. Now we go on to the D11 and we do the D11 to a D12. And then we cross, skip over the string to B10. And we play the B10 three times. After that, we move to D11, 
to D12. Crossing straight over to B10, to B9, to B to G9. And then it goes straight back into the next, and then we cycle through the game at the same rate. And we play that through a series of four times. From that riff, we go back to the original riff that we played right at the beginning. And that plays out to the end of the song. So we covered all of the sections of the song bar in the solos. The two guitar solos I will be doing in a future lesson. There's quite a bit of uh, parts to this song. I'm sure you've noticed as we've gone through and I do apologize for the length of the video, uh, but it's just so much to cover. Typical Iron Maid. Very similar to a previous one that I did, Hallowed Be Thy Name. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed this lesson. I know it's been quite a long one, quite intense, but it is a great track and it's well worth learning. But I will let you go. So until the next time, this is Jeff Sinker wishing you well. Looking forward to seeing you all again. Until then, goodbye. <laughs>